Welcome back. Today, the family of the seven-year-old boy who was electrocuted in the family pool announced they're filing a lawsuit against four companies. CBS4 Cynthia Dima spoke to the attorney and father of the victim and why they say this is not about money. He's known worldwide as Mr. Awesome. His self-portrait has crossed the globe. The seven-year-old, known for his big heart and many talents, was tragically killed in his family swimming pool two months ago, electrocuted. For the first time, the family shared this photo of the wire burned out. The current was carried from this source through the water to the corroded pool light that Calder touched. You can see the burn mark, it's pretty clear. Now the family's filed a lawsuit. Calder's father said they want to raise awareness. Why do we find ourselves here in this ocean of grief and absolute despair? Well, simply, it was all laid out here because of the negligence of these professional services and manufacturers who carelessly failed to do their jobs. The defendants in the suit, Pentair Water Pool and Spa, the makers of the light. All Florida Pool and Spa, the company that did the pool maintenance. Gary B. Electric and Construction Consultant, the electrician noted in the suit for improper bonding and grounding. And J.P. or George Perez Enterprises Inspection Company, the company that inspected the house when it was purchased. The lawsuit says if the wiring or grounding or bonding were done properly, or if the inspectors noted anything was amiss, this tragedy could have been avoided. Any one of these things could have prevented Calder's death. They all failed. The lawsuit spells out it was a chain of events and each fail safe didn't do its job. We reached out to all of the defendants. Pinter said in part, we are extremely saddened. Our thoughts are with the family. We're working with the appropriate parties to conduct a formal inspection. All Florida Pool and Spa said in part, we are saddened by the events, but we had no involvement in the construction, repair, and installation of any mechanical, cosmetic, and structural portions of this pool. Our function on this property was limited to cleaning the pool. The home inspection company and the electrician listed in the case did not respond. Calder's father said their goal is to make sure this doesn't happen to another family because for them the pain is unbearable.